All right, hello and welcome everyone. So today we're going to be talking about Baruch. Baruch is of course the newest Warframe and he's usable. So let's talk about him. First and foremost, here's the build. This is the build I've been using. You want a good amount of range for your one so that it protects you in a 360 area. So of course I have overextended plus stretch here because you also want range for your two. Uh, and then uh, I've got Quick Thinking Prime Flow because he has an insanely high amount of starting energy, and this is going to protect me from things that I will not be protected from by my one, which is going to be quite a bit, actually. Uh, and then otherwise here we have a good amount of strength for use with R4, just to show it off. And then, of course, Prime Continuity is giving us a little bit of duration as our abilities do benefit from that. With that... That's kind of what's up with the build. There's not anything really special here, uh, and we're going to go over the abilities really fast. First and foremost, we have Elude. Dodge all incoming projectiles, but only while not attacking, using it to deactivate this ability. Angle, 360, because I have enough range for it, which means it's going to be protecting me from everywhere around me. This does not protect you from AoE, and extremely important to notice, but only while not attacking. That means that this ability is only really useful in three scenarios. You are running to a new place to attack people from. You are reviving a teammate. You are AFK and shitting or getting a sandwich. So, significantly less use cases than a lot of people seem to surmise by not reading the ability description. With that, let's move on to Lull. A calming wave slows enemies until they fall into a slumber. Enemies woken by damage will be confused and disoriented. Short-term amnesia means that all waking enemies forget anything that happened before the Lull. This has a pretty large radius, and this is its startup duration, where any enemies entering the radius will also be put to sleep, uh, and its sleep duration is pretty good. The problem with this ability is that it is not super fast, like Equinox's Night Form 2 is for putting enemies to sleep. And by the time enemies are asleep, they will usually be killed by one of your teammates. So there's not a whole lot of purpose to this ability other than to build you Restraint Meter, which of course Elude also does. And Desolate Hands will also build you your Restraint Meter. So this will summon a bevy of Ordning Daggers to seek out enemy guns, destroying them with a small explosion combined with Elude to double the range. Elude doubling the range of this is not a benefit, as much as it might seem like a synergy, because these shooting out and hitting enemies is kind of the thing you want the absolute least, as these daggers will also give 90% damage reduction while they are active, and they can be given to teammates that come close by. It will give them some daggers uh, whenever they're near you, and you can recast this ability at will. So this is essentially a better Nova one, but that doesn't say much, considering with Nova you get, you know, the rest of Nova's kit, um, but overall, this ability works. I almost never cast it, because it's usually just not worth doing, much like Serene Storm. With his restraint eroded, Baruch commands the Desert Wind to deliver powerful radial strikes with his fists and feet. Each moment commanding the storm restores his restraint. So, this has, of course, its damage, and then you also get damage reduction while it's active. This ability, I wish it was good. I really, really do wish it was good. But it is unfortunately just not for a variety of reasons. So I'm going to show this build. Uh, this build is what I've been using on Desert Wind. You cannot use things like Blood Rush. And there's no reason to use things like Drifting Contact and such. Because this weapon doesn't benefit from comboing. Because it really cannot build combo, unfortunately. So it's high base stats, like 50% critical chance, for example kind of don't matter in the face of weapons that are able to build combo. And what I mean by that is if we look at the base stats here, you got 83, 83, 83. And that's high for a melee weapon, especially one that is as fast as these fists are punching. However, this is very quickly outpaced by a simply a good melee weapon that can build combo quickly, like the Kamakura Reaper, for example. This has just under 150 damage, and whenever I get to... 2x combo, I'm outpacing my fists. And then I get to 3x combo, and all of that stuff, and on and on and on, and this will do considerably more damage. Of course, you can combine that with the fact that this has a better IPS spread, among other things, and of course, Serene Storm will have more range than the Kamakura Reaper, but more range really doesn't matter whenever it's the difference between, like, hey, this can't kill these enemies I want dead and this weapon can. So unfortunately, 
I don't really find much reason to use the Desert Wind because they're just not as good as swinging a regular melee weapon. And in addition to that, your restraint meter is actually pretty useful for not spending it on your four. And what I mean by that is down on the right there, you can see my restraint meter. It is empty at current. Whenever it is full, and I realize that not many people have tested this, so you're just going to have to take my word for it because it's not even on the wiki yet, you get 50% damage reduction. That's pretty good. I would take 50% damage reduction over a bad melee weapon any day, so I pretty much always want to leave my restraint meter full so that it's pretty much impossible to kill Baruch because that's kind of the only thing he has going for him. So that's kind of what's up. We are going to show all of his ability abilities off in the test. Um, but yeah, you'd be better served just by shooting these enemies in every scenario you would encounter them, or of course playing a different Warframe. And that's really unfortunate, because I wanted Baruch to be good, it just, he really isn't. Also, some of these attacks will hit me, probably. Yeah, like that one counts as an AoE, for example. Uh, we're going to put everybody to sleep, though. And this, this is going to get, like, everybody. And you can see that my 2 is building me a good amount of my Restraintometer. Uh, and while everybody's asleep, we are going to get rid of these guys. Someone was not put to sleep and shot me in the back. Hello there. So we're going to get him now. Put this man to sleep. Oh, it didn't get that guy, though. Unfortunate. See, so, yeah, we've got we got some sleepy peeps here. Uh, so we'll, we'll use our three, and we'll we'll take these weapons from these guys, I suppose. Uh, this is fine. But yeah, these like this pretty much only lasts like as many seconds as you have daggers, uh, and of course you can you can recast it to make sure everybody gets rid of all their stuff. But it's kind of neither here nor there. Uh, we're at max restraint now, so let's show off his four. So his four has a couple of different things it does. It has its main hitting combo, which is basically a leaf blower and not very helpful. It has its hold combo, which will push enemies up into the air, uh, which is also not particularly useful. And then it has its good combo, which is its pull, which means enemies aren't going to immediately get away from you until you actually hit them. Uh, and then it will send them flying. And you can see that this just doesn't do a lot of damage. Like... It might seem kind of impressive to people that haven't been playing Warframe for a while, I guess, but this Warframe is locked behind a considerable amount of content. Like, a really considerable amount of content. And he just doesn't really do enough, because these enemies... Where did this enemy even fall to? These enemies should have been long since dead, essentially. Like, we should have been far over and done with these enemies, and, like, it could have been cleared faster simply by the secondary weapon that I'm using. So, knocking guys around like this like heavy units and stuff, is simply just not very useful because like, have you considered shooting them? Like we have a lot of survival tools on Baruch. Like I have my one, which isn't, is not working while I'm shooting in fairness, but like I have like the 50% damage reduction from restraint. I can put them all to sleep before I shoot them. I can turn my three on for 90% DR before I shoot them. And then there's all that stuff. So why not just use a good melee weapon, which all those guys would have been dead considerably earlier from, or just shoot them with a good gun. And that's kind of the unfortunate place that Baruch is in, which is that then leads you to, well, if all I'm doing is surviving, why not use a Warframe that survives and also has other useful abilities, like, for example, Chroma boosting the damage of your weapons, or Rhino getting his stomp, or many, many other things. Basically, Baruch just doesn't do enough, and he's in a very similar place to Wukong, but Wukong can also survive with considerably less management than Baruch, and at least there's some argument to be made about Wukong's 4. So, yeah, that's where Baruch is right now. It's really unfortunate, but he's just not very good. Like, there's just kind of nothing that he really does that is particularly useful uh outside of i will say if you activate his one it's a good way to go fishing so if you want to not be bugged too much while you're fishing you could activate baruch's one not that there aren't already other warframes that do that but yeah that's um that's baruch unfortunately hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you tomorrow